And now the floor to Donata Levi, who is going to speak about the Italian heritage watchdog and show us maybe its website as well, um, Patrimonio SOS. Donata is from the University of uh, Udine. Um, I wish to thank very much the organizer of the conference for invitation to tell you the story of this website, uh, patrimoniosos.it, that is SOS for Art Heritage. Uh, the name Patrimonio Sos was sought as a specific polemical answer to a joint stock company named Patrimonio SPA. SPA is the Italian acronym for joint stock company, and uh, in this case, uh, Patrimonio means uh, national estate. Uh, this company, Patrimonio Spa, was established by law in June uh, 2002. It enabled the state to make money by selling parts of its cultural, historical, archaeological and art heritage. It was uh, inspired by the aim uh, to privatize what until then had been considered as owned by the entire community of citizens and it enforced the idea that economic values prevailed over immaterial uh, and, uh, uh, but highly symbolical uh, values. Luckily, uh, the joint stock company could never operate, but at the time, uh, the act aroused the deep concerns among those interested in the protection of uh, Italian art heritage. Thus, in uh, July 2002, a colleague of mine, Marco Colareta, and I uh, circulated by mail a petition to the authorities against this act. Uh, within a few weeks, uh, it was uh, signed by almost uh, 3,000 people, not only university professors, not only officials of the um, local superintend superintendencies, you know, the local branches of uh, the Ministry of Cultural Heritage, uh, not only men of culture or people professionally involved in uh, the field, but uh, also the public at large. Most of them accompanied their signatures with personal comments about the need to do something to safeguard um, our cultural heritage. Thus, we had the idea uh, of creating a website. Uh, in the first pla a place, a, a website to inform people, um, to inform people through a um, daily uh, updated press. Uh, I tried, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> This is the first, I mean, the, the home page in November 2002. Um, we, we, we wish to, um, to inform people through a daily uh, updated uh, press review, uh, through uh, the uh, publication of, uh, um, of um, press releases and data about events, conferences, meetings, initiatives, and through the publication of uh, acts of uh, uh, law and parliamentary proceedings, public uh, petition and uh, questions. In the second place, we wanted to give voice to people who shared our concerns and uh, to people who needed to denounce uh, or uh, damages uh, to the art heritage or to alert about risks of manage mismanagement, destruction and sale of historical buildings and works of art. Accordingly, one section of the site is devoted to cultural heritage at risk. And in this section, both data taken from official lists of buildings on sale and uh, uh, data provided by concerned citizens are collected. Unfortunately, in this website, we cannot publish photo. Therefore, we opened a blog, um, a more domestic blog, uh, at the address you see in the slide. Uh, this is a sort of uh, a visual appendix, appendix to uh, cultural heritage at risk. Uh, another section entitled Essays and uh, um, uh, yes, uh, essays and uh, um, reviews has original papers uh, and discussions mainly among experts, not only art historians or archaeologists, but also uh, economists, jurists, restorers, and so on. 
And uh, then we have, uh, uh, we, we publish also the mail. We daily receive messages, not only by Italians, but also by uh, foreigners, uh, concerned about the fate of the Italian heritage. Many correspondents ask for information about various subjects, especially administrative and legislative matters. Many others alert on damage and risks. Uh, we uh, extend our reach not only to monuments and very important uh, sites and very important places, but also to second tile buildings, uh, such as uh, farmhouses, for example, and to uh, urban planning. Um, in fact, the boundary between issues uh, about landscape and historical, uh, historical heritage in Italy is very, very thin. Um, initially, uh, we have been driven uh, merely by the need to do something, with no clear idea of whether and how and how long to go on. But we soon realized that without intending to, we had in fact filled a gap in information in this specific area. Uh, I show you some data about uh, uh, the number of visits uh, and uh, visitors uh, from uh, 2004 to 2009, um, and also, if you wish, uh, um, data about uh, um, uh, the visits in a single year. Uh, the third slide uh, gives you an idea of the number of articles and files uh, collected, collected during uh, our uh, activity. Uh, the number of visits and visitors show, uh, show that our website is appreciated. Uh, we furnish people with a service, a totally free service. Indeed, we are aware that the files we have been storing in the past years are very useful uh, to professionals, to, for example, to journalists, who in theory could pay. But the idea prevails that information should be freely widespread and should reach the highest number of people. And conversely, that uh, people need to have a place ready to accept uh, their alerts as well as their uh, opinion. Um, indeed, nine years of activity is not a short time uh, for an initiative uh, which is based exclusively on the work of a very small group of volunteers um, who obviously can work at the website only uh, in spare time. Um, there were no more than 12 of us uh, when we began, uh, and for the last two, three years, uh, uh, there are five uh, with me. Um, uh, young, uh, at least according to the Italian academic style, young scholars, uh, archaeologists and art historians, uh, all uh, but uh, uh, one freelancers without permanent positions. And I think that the most of our success is due to the perception that we are totally free. Um, obviously, it is not a financial success. Um, we accept no ad, for example. And we are not tied to any institution, uh, not influenced by the market, and not bound to political parties or organizations. Um, also, obviously, we are not apolitical. Our press review is aimed to cover all, ki all kinds of newspapers and weekly magazines, uh, occasionally some monthly magazines. 